Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to use slices to filter data in tables and pivot tables in Excel. The slicer remains on the sheet so anyone who uses it knows exactly which entries have been filtered. Overall they're a great visual tool for filtering data. We're going to start by covering how to filter data in a table and then we'll cover how to use them to filter pivot tables. In our example, we have fictitious employee details consisting of their staff ID, departments, salary, and the city they work in. The data is formatted in a table format. To insert our slices, we'll click on any cell within the table and then click insert followed by slicer. We can then select which categories we want to filter. In our case, we'll want to filter the departments and the city. We can then click OK. As you can see, two slicers have been created representing both the departments and the city. We can drag our slicers to position them. We can also change the colors using the slicer tab like this, or alternatively the design tab if you have older versions of Excel. To apply filters, simply select a slicer button. For example, let's say we want to filter for employees based in London. As you can see, the table has adjusted, showing only the departments that employees in London work in. If we want to drill down even further, we can select a specific department like finance. If we're unhappy with our selection, we can clear filters using this button. Let's say we want to select both finance and accounting. In this case, we can hold down the control key and then select both buttons like this. So that's how you can use slices to filter data in tables. Next, let's cover pivot tables. Firstly, let's select any cell within our table and then go into the insert tab and then select pivot table. We will then keep the settings as they are, select new worksheet and click OK. We're going to select the departments as the column labels and then we're going to select the cities as the row labels. We're also going to select the salary for the values. This shows us what the total salary is for these two variables. To insert the slicer, select any cell within the pivot table then go into the Pivot Table Analyze tab and then select Insert Slicer. This time we'll select Departments as our filter variable. Now if we select Accounting for example, the Pivot Table filters to show only accounting salaries. As before, we can hold down the control key to select multiple departments like this. So that's how you can use slicers to filter data in pivot tables. To conclude, slicers are a useful and intuitive visual tool to filter data in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.